Hello and welcome to episode 47 of Let's Run Facebook Ads with myself, Nick Bollington, and Olivia Turnock Rogers, the lovely, beautiful Olivia, who um, basically James has now nicknamed you the landlord. I know, very lucky, aren't I? Because Slip you're you, lovely lot. unbelievably organised and but everyone needs to live in their life. They do, they do. I think sometimes my partner wouldn't agree, but yeah, I would agree most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So on this episode, we are discussing reels. More importantly, real ads. We're going to have to go over a little bit of what a reel is in case someone doesn't know, but I'd be very surprised if no one knew what a reel was. But Facebook has just allowed us to start advertising in them. So we are going to discuss how you advertise in them. If you're watching this or... Um, we'll put the link underneath the video in the podcast as well to watch it in case you are we going to go over are we going to actually show and share a screen on how we do it I think we can we because can it's do. yeah because I think it's more along the lines of um, um, how because you, you can't well we're we'll going to this you can't you can't do the other placements can you so no, exactly okay so <laughs> we've also got a really nice document that Liv has created hasn't got any of our branding on but we could do that and then we could put that in the description as well which would talk we people through it so reels i suppose your so liv's background is organic stuff um we do do organic as an agency and that's what sort of lid lives heads up as well but her background is organic she loves it she's all over it i oh, on the other hand have trouble picking up well i I occasionally go into Instagram. It's quite funny because people, we sort of advertise ourselves as we run a Facebook agency, social media agency, yet James doesn't even use Facebook. And I occasionally go in it and have to have like the most basic instructions of how to do a post. And I've tried to do this real stuff myself. I just find it really... It's time consuming, isn't it? And I think that I think because it's everyone's day, you feel like you need to jump on the bandwagon. But obviously, like when I was saying to you, right, you need to get on Reels, you do some for LRS, you do some for your own channel. You were like, do not make me do those stupid dancing videos. Like, I am not doing that. And I was like, come on, it'll be brilliant. Yeah. No, not have any it's of not it. That, it's <laughs> not that I haven't got the confidence to do it. I think we all know that I've got the confidence to do it. I don't, and I'm not, I'm not worried about looking like an idiot that much either because we've ordered for the ad clinic my white coat and my stepless coat to go around my neck and an inflatable syringe the digital doctor so it's not that I'm, I'm I'm happy to be a prat I just I find it I find consumers on these reels I think there are some great ones when you guys do it you do it and Katie does it for us and stuff like that and I get it I think it's just all a bit embarrassing really um, and I don't and, think that Reels has found its place yet because uh, it's it's the same song. I mean, these bloody shuffle dances. And then... Oh, I mean, so to be fair, I, I, I quote Marx. I don't, I can't dance, so I don't dance. It's more the whole, like, you know, the arm movement to yeah, get yeah. people brought in. But do you know what? It's, it's funny, isn't it? Because when you, like, consume Reels as, like a, as a business and as, like, an individual... Do you really see that many like men dancing? Not really. I see in some like of, you do see some like, like business, no business related ones. You don't. So that's why I think where you come from, like you obviously just can see them as girls dancing to videos, whatever it might be, or even if it is like Instagram experts or something, it tends to all be women. So I completely get that. But then you did go through like a two week period of we posted most days, two didn't weeks. you? Um, two I weeks. think, gave it I, think two weeks. I, I could get into it and people have said to look you just need to carry on and I know even from this podcast becoming successful it's all about the consistency and where I was doing the I know we're talking about a bit about the organic side we're getting into paid but paid side but it's good for the conversation is that with the reels um, I was just talking to it like I would do a story so hey look here's something and I think that's where it's quite good you can do that but it is it's the time that it takes to do it by the time and I'm working quickly unprofessionally and not giving a crap e and that's still taking me 15 minutes by the time I'm ready to post it and that doesn't yeah, seem a lot just, but when you're doing it three times a day 
and you're thinking of the content and you're writing the content for it, a lot goes into it. Um, but so that's what you could do as a business. I suppose we could spend, yeah, I mean, it is good for a business to do it. I'm not doing it and way enough that I should be. But there's no other way to get yourself out there on Instagram now, is there? Not really. It's, it's, a, it's it by be? far the best way to get your reach back bigger. I mean, in a couple of weeks, hopefully we've got a lovely um, girl coming to the Extra Cast podcast and she is like Instagram real queen. Even so I think me. rather than us like, yeah, I think rather than us like hashing it and we're like, semi all right at them but it's not our like forte organic yeah. reels tune in for I that one tune in for that one I think it'd be a very interesting podcast and we're definitely learn a lot from that so Absolutely. I'm excited for that one but I think I think the moral of this story of what comes out of this is that reels are huge and if they're huge mm-hmm. it means the audience is there and when an audience is there it means we want to stick ads in front of them yeah. essentially what we do as soon as a platform gets big and it has an advertising procedure we're all over it um so that's what this podcast is really about how we get ads into it so this was just when did this come out like two months ago was it yeah i'd say so a few months ago now a bit was on like a phase like a phase rollout um so it took quite a while for everyone to to get the actual you know the placement option um, yeah. but now pretty much everyone should be able to run it real ads themselves okay so should we <laughs> what are the benefits of right from an advertising point of view then what are the benefits and because i want i want now anyone who's listening to this <laughs> excuse me it's my cough anyone who's listening to this to sort of start thinking about how they can promote themselves into real so what are the things that from what you've done and it's really early stages guys i think we just need to say we're not this podcast isn't about going hey look at all these amazing results it's that early that we're still mm-hmm. in testing phase with our clients ourselves but from what you and your team have done what what things have really stood out that you've had to take on board and things like that i think the content's obviously really important and it's again choosing whether it's organic or paid choosing eye-catching video content whether that's a mashup of stuff you've already got or generating something completely new making it feel like it's not an ad so don't say look here's my bottle of water you know I'm going to sell this to you you want to add it into a video that isn't screaming in your face because of people when they're scrolling mindless through TikTok or Instagram reels or whatever it might be they just want to escape for a bit so you don't want it to make it not look like an ad but then obviously perk up their interest Mm. so we found that when you are doing it make sure that there's the songs that you're using is going to stop people in the scroll so not just some you know just some piano music or something make it like a trending song there's loads of trending songs on there at the moment um so make it relevant sorry so you're able to put sorry to interrupt so so right i know that when you were setting it when you do set one up organically because i know i had to change my profile to say entrepreneur didn't i that was your little Mm. hack Um, so that I could choose the songs it's about choosing the music because you're going to get shown more if you choose organic are you saying that when you run an ad you use this can you pull in the music for an ad point of view so the music already has to be on the video when you upload it so you can't so if I go back to basics so for example if we want to run like an Instagram engagement ad right so we want to take a post we've already posted organic on Instagram we take that post ID and we put it into Facebook and and run some money behind it to boost up that engagement on that post. Now, with Reels, you can't take a post ID. You have to sort of upload the video straight into Facebook. Now, to get Uh, that video... So you can't do the post ID thing? No, you can't, which is a bit pants, really, because actually that would be great for everybody, but that's not a a feature, unfortunately. Um, So what you can do when you are, whether it's you're creating a Reel for your organic person, you just want to then use it on paid as well. You obviously just download the video from your Instagram. And most of the time it will bring that audio with you. But sometimes depending on what business profile you've got, it won't. But you can, in a, in a different editing platform, you can add in music on top of it. So it doesn't have okay. to be pulled from Instagram itself. You could go into like we either, well, not I use iMovie or I use Villo. And you can just add in music on that way as well. How do you as get the music? As, <clears throat> you, just, you can just pay for it. Are you pay- so can you can you t- can you take like top songs by a big artist then are you allowed to do that yeah you just you just have to be careful with the royalty stuff but you can if you, Depending if you on can the platform you use to get it from 
depending on the pump, yeah, where you use it from, or if Instagram lets you actually download that video with the audio on. So it, it just depends on what music you're using. Um, but as long as it's something that, you know, going back to just grabbing people's attention really and, it, and even if it was just a, a really like a very soft track in the background because like you, you're talking over it or you know yeah. you're actually showcasing your product it doesn't want to be obviously too too out there but you want to with video and with the sound grab people's attention that's the one thing that we found um that's worked really well the second thing is that when you're writing copy for a real ad we've been testing out like i say long form copy a sentence or two versus literally like four or five words because yeah. as you know in a normal Facebook and Instagram ad you normally sort of get the first two two lines show up on it but on the real ad you literally get like four to five words before they'd have to press click to see more and obviously right. those four or five words are obviously so important to get them to either press see more of your comment or click through to or whatever your call to action might be your website. Can you test headlines like you can do when you're building an ad using dynamic creative is that something you can do so you can do your primary text you can have up to five options on that but there's no like headline option it is purely just primary text um, so just primary then... text. so when you're talking about those words it's just primary text and you have to yeah. make those short if you so when you, you if they press see more you yeah, can go into long copy can see then more. can you so yeah so it's just so you can go into long form copy as you normally would in an ad um, but what you it's just it's just more difficult to see the see more button on a real ad. As a young consumer that you are, opposed to an old fogey like me, are you <laughs> seeing a lot of ads in your reels when you're exploring and going through your reels? Do you seeing ads now? Yeah, I am a lot more not as many as I thought, probably thought I would. Because um, well, on I definitely... Snapchat, I I went on Snapchat the other day. And I only because like literally exploring it because we're bringing, we want to bring it as a platform, but I was like every, every three I was seeing and some really bad ads as well. Like the most basic, horrible or awful ads. I see that in Instagram stories more than reels. I, I get shared. And the thing is though, because people can make stories look like reels it feels like it's a real even though it's not so I think Instagram story ads they've made them look more like reels in a way to capture people's attention um but yeah Instagram reels I haven't seen as many ads as I thought I would of whether it's because I'm I'm not I'm not in the in the markets where they're showing the ads to as as much yeah or because um, it's so new and we all know that it like is so new which is why, guys, you want to jump onto this because you've got less competition. If we talk about object objectives, conversion traffic, mm -hmm. where can you show? What can you can you choose different objectives? Yeah, you can choose majority of them to be honest. So you can choose traffic, brand awareness, video views, reach, app installs, and then conversions as well. Now we've tried out video views versus traffic. There's yeah. two comparisons. So when we first set it up, I was like, right, well, if we're running a reel, obviously the objective of an organic reel is to get the most amount of views because obviously that means you're getting to the most eyes yeah. of people. Now we tried this and I was like, right, this is really expensive. Like, why is it expensive? It should be cheap because Facebook are pushing it. Yeah. So I was like doing a little bit of research. Um, yes, you obviously want the number of views to be up high. Yeah. Like one of two reasons the first one being so you can then take that audience and retarget those people that have viewed the video but then also you want to be able to you know get people to to swipe up and click through to your landing page or wherever you would like to take them to so by choosing the correct objective as you would with a normal campaign we don't just want to click on video views because you want the video views if you want people to swipe up and purchase choose conversion purchase conversion so exactly the same, same how we always promote exactly the same that's interesting actually so yeah mm -hmm. uh, the, the only thing is at the moment which Liv said a couple of minutes ago is that you can't you can't pull it into the mix of placements so it's not like you can use use automatic placements reels won't be included in automatic placements you have to go into manual placements and turning out everything off in fact actually should we share your screen we are going to do this we'll put a link to this video in the podcast so when you're listening in your car you can then go home and download the link off the episode and actually watch how it's yeah. done so when you are in ads manager so as i said you can do brand awareness reach 
traffic, app installs, video views and conversions. So as normal, choose your objective, continue. And now... Oh, this is a new feature as well. Oh, is this a new this feature? Was... I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, well, this is a, this is another podcast. Oh, this was a... I was an American ads manager. I say American because when you're different countries, some, you do see slightly different things. And this mm-hmm. had come out and it's a quick way of doing something, but you can't do catalogs the same way as you would. So we'll do another, we'll do another video. We'll, do another, we'll skip over that then for a moment. I've yeah, so you want to choose the one below. Oh, you've done it wrong. You see, this is where <gasps> it's confusing. Oh no. So, okay. So go back. I'll go, I'll go back. <laughs> it's like do a it lesson in itself. It automatically it? defaults you with that top blue bit, but it's not a top blue bit like you know what to press. So you need to do- go down to manual control, click. Now that's highlighted blue. See what I mean? It's not very oh it's not my goodness. And now continue. No, so they're easy. trying to so basically while we're here, they're trying to get people because of the tracking and because of the interest and all the audiences, it's all going a bit haywire. The advanced plus is a quick way of doing it giving Facebook more control opposed to you and I as ad managers going in there and doing what we want to do. Right. That's interesting. There you go. First, first mistake of the tutorial. (laughs) The advantage plus. So as you would normally do, we won't obviously go through all the steps, but um, when you go down onto ad set level, Within here, we want to scroll down to your placement options and click manual placements. Yeah. Now, within here, we just want to untick Facebook, audience network, and Messenger. So it just has Instagram highlighted. But now we want to, and un- all we want to have ticked is Instagram Reels option. We won't set up an audience for now. We'll just leave it quite broad and press next. Now, under here is where it only allows you to choose a single video. So we would obviously add a video or just choose a random one. If you do a video like you've... So this is this something that's been done on an iPhone? I take it you've got to make a video be in portrait because it's got to fit in a real view? Yeah, Port, yeah, port, portrait mode. Um, you can see either on your phone or if you've got a camera as long as you, you download it in portrait. But yeah, portrait mode. So really all all all, all the same, just choose your placement. That's the yeah, that's the bit that's gets all confused, isn't it? If they haven't done that bit. So in here it's still allowing us to choose between one and five primary text options. This is where it's really key to have a look at actually what it will look like so yeah. one really key thing to point out here actually is when once you say publish the ad and you've gone preview we'll show this in a minute it shows you a really crap version of how it would look in the facebook news feed but obviously we're not showing it in the news feed you don't right. get the preview placement of instagram reels currently it allows you depending on how many characters to have two lines but if you go over this it will say see more and people will have to press see more to read the rest of your text so that first line is the most key bit of copy you need two, you want to two have lines there. does it before two you lines but depend you do get a th- well let me try it it's it's to do with the characters rather than the number uh, of lines this might not be a great option you see here, oh, now, yeah, here yeah. we go now got them more. you press yeah. you press more my key tip here is to check how it's looking on your placement options on the right hand side of your page to see how much room you've got to play with because that little more is so light people yeah. wouldn't really see it i think um, i would say from from the fact that we don't want to people to click as much as possible if you've got to learn more let's say because let's think this is on a shopping brand so change that to a shop now so you get all call to actions as normal so I would probably use those first two right. lines to bring in what you're wanting to sell and then get them to shop now because clicking see more just takes them away from pressing. We want them to press the shop now button to come out of reels and go to your um, landing page or product page or service page. And where I have seen reels in my own feeds uh, when I'm scrolling through Instagram is that majority of the time this bit of copy is like the most basic bit of copy you've ever seen. So I haven't been shown ones with like loads and loads and loads and loads of text in there. It is literally straight to the point. Yeah. All you want to do is capture their attention via the video and yeah. not the copy. As the copy is still important, but in this respect for reels, the, the video is the the key. Well, it's key great, isn't it? I mean, I think, you know, as we're watching this now, you know, it's a, if you can't see this, it's a woman 
trying on different dresses as she walks down like an outdoor catwalk kind of thing. They're Brilliant. pretty easy to set up. Yeah, I'll stop sharing my screen now. But well, um, actually, go back really to Shay's screen because now we've finished talking about Instagram Ooh. Reels. I'm gonna. I've just seen yeah. something in Ads Manager, which is going to be a, a a slightly negative revelation. Right, okay. go into your ad set. Go into an ad, the one you just built. And go into um, your ad. Oh yeah. And scroll down as if you're going to go and put an interest in detail targeting. They've taken out. You've got everyone. So you know yes, how you've got detail targeting expansion button that you could click on and off. Yeah. Disappearing for us. So put an interest in there like gardening. Still says 8.2 million. You haven't got a so audience expansion, guys, is leaving or has left the building. It has an on maybe it's it probably live or check later, probably not on all the ad accounts, but this ad account is saying that we can't even decide. So there might only be 200,000 people who are interested in gardening in, in this, for instance, but it's saying 8.2 million. So this right. is another thing that Facebook is trying to get us to rely on its algorithm opposed to us, which is a bit of a nightmare. But there we go. Another podcast where we're going to discuss that. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Liv, for um, explaining that in great detail. It's brilliant. Really good explanation. And yeah, I like it. I, I love it when these sort of things happen. It's exciting. This is a, it is reels is extremely popular and Facebook is well, Facebook, Instagram is literally trying to kick the competitors into touch like TikTok and steal everyone. You'll leave. It's funny because when you're even in reels, you see people who have done their TikTok one and then they've downloaded it from TikTok and uploaded it into reels, haven't they? Because you can see the logo yeah. in the bottom I corner. You can actually, when we've got our, our guest on a couple of weeks, it'd be really interesting to take have her take on whether if you create a video in TikTok and upload it to Instagram, is your engagement less because Instagram knows it's from TikTok? I've heard mm. this along the grapevine, but obviously I'm no Instagram real organic expert. So I think that's a question we can ask her. I think this would be an I think this would be a good one for you to join the podcast, Liv. Mm. I think you Actually, need to do yeah, a podcast for that one. We'll get there. We'll have a we'll we'll have, a, we'll have all four of us on it. I think it'd be good because it's your you know it's your world. You're building ads in that world at the moment. I think you'll have some really good questions which we can yeah. ask the expert. We can. Good. So when we do, when when's that one going live? Who's 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 the person that we're who's coming on? So it's Emily. She's at the social manager underscore on Instagram. We're recording with her, not until the 20th of October, so a few weeks yet, but it will be out before the end of the month. Brilliant. Okay, so keep an eye out for that one, guys. The social manager. Yeah. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, Liv. I hope you've enjoyed this, everyone. hope this brings another piece of perfectly delivered information over to everyone. And uh, we'll see you on the next podcast. See you on the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.